Hey guys, I wanted to warn you guys about a little something something I went through lately. Have you guys heard of Lingo Eyewear? It's a company that came across online, I believe through Instagram or something where they were telling you you can get like a few like free pairs of glasses. Of course, I didn't fully believe the free part, but um, I only clicked on them and I only went and investigated because they said they could you could upload your prescription online or they could basically scan your glasses to see what prescription you have so basically they were saying you don't have to go to the optometrist every year to get a new prescription they'll be able to scan your glasses through the app and you know you could purchase your glasses or whatever through you know just being online so i thought okay mm, this is interesting lingo eyewear okay let, let's go check it out yo i went to the website it looked legit and everything. Everything was cool at first. Until the process. The process that it took to scan, um, to even start up, they were telling me I had to go on my computer and do it. And it was this weird process where I had to like match this card with the computer. There was like some dots I had to match up and it, it, it was like, huh? I got confused. Me and my husband were both trying to figure it out. And there was a process where they say put a car, like any magnetic car, in the middle of your computer screen to so-called match up to where your glasses were supposed to fit. It was basically, you, they claimed they were trying to fit your glasses to your face or find an accurate depiction of how your glasses would fit to your face through the computer. And it was hard. It was really hard to do so, and it didn't make any sense. So, of course, I knew better than to put any old card up there. So, what I did is I used the old credit card. I used the old credit card that my husband and I no longer use. And I put it up there facing backward, you know, where the back of the card shows. And I put it up there and used that as, you know, a dummy replacement just to see if the thing worked. Yo, it did not work. This is a Lingo Eyewear website. The process that they had didn't make any sense. Why would you need a card to put up there to line up? It just did not make any sense at all. And apparently you couldn't proceed until you did that um, technique. So eventually after like 15-20 minutes of us wasting time trying to line it up, we stopped because it wasn't working. We tried different things, we tried different cards. It wasn't working, y'all. Like, come on. It was stupid. And I was like, okay, this don't sound right anyway. It sounds like, okay, they're trying to, you know, do something else rather than what they claim they're trying to do. So... We stopped. It wasn't even working. It wasn't worth it. And I was saying, fuck it. I'll just try somebody else. Or, you know, this company ain't what they say it is. So I stopped. And I put it down. I uninstalled everything. I went to the review area. And, um, I mean, on their app page. And I gave it a bad review. Because a lot of other people have given it bad reviews. As far as they couldn't get their thing to work either. Couldn't get their glasses to work on the screen. Apparently some people were able to. Some people weren't. It didn't make any damn sense. But I gave them a pretty bad review because it is I had to warn people that do not go to Lingo Eyewear. This is potentially not going to work for you. You're potentially going to waste your time. The process doesn't work. They're up to something. So I put it down. And not too long later after I gave the bad review, they, um, they wrote me. Because, you know, some companies actually write back to you and... When you give a bad review is to say, oh, we're sorry, you know, we can help you out if you write us, whatever, we'll see what we can do, blah, blah, blah. So, I did that, and they actually wrote me back. They wrote, they sent me an email, but guess what? The biggest giveaway that made me realize that they were a scam was that my name wasn't in the email. My husband's name was in the email. And I was like, wait, what? So my husband's name is Jamal and they put down here's the proof of the email they put down dear Jamal now his name was nowhere near we didn't put it we didn't have to put our names actually no my name was supposed to be on there there was no way his name was linked to anything but what made me believe this company was a freaking scam and they're just trying to use people's cards was that remember I told you that they said use a magnetic card to scan the card that I used had his name on it. It had Jamal's name written, you know, in cursive on the back of the card because it was, you know, his name at the time. But that alone was proof that they were trying to get people's card information 
through claiming that you were you needed to do this method to you know try to put glasses on your face and i was amazed we were both sitting there baffled like oh my god you guys this is proof that you shouldn't use this company lingo iorators is proof that you should not use them because his name as you can see in this email his name is there and not mine how else would they have gotten his name you know so that means they were paying attention. That means they scanned that shit and they realized, okay, this is his card. They might have tried to charge it. Even though I didn't ask to charge it and they claimed that this is nothing to charge. It was just, okay, let's try to line this up. No, these people are devious. They try to find some tricky way to get people's information. So after that, I just got rid of everything they sent me. I blocked everything. Got rid of the app. I'm done with these people. Lingo Iware is a scam. Do not go to them. Do not trust them do not put your card information up there if you do want to test it just for the hell of it use a dummy card because y'all this is proof this is proof and i knew something sketchy about them from the get-go and here it is proof that they just they read your card information that so-called card lineup thing is just to read your card information and try to scam you out of a couple of bucks so just don't trust them i'm just telling you my experience I'm letting you know, don't trust them. I don't know if anybody else has had this experience. I'm going to research that in a little while just to see, but beware of lingo eyewear. Do not trust them. All right. Okay. <laughs> I just had to let y'all know this shit's important. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and you take it to heart and you spread it to everybody. And, you know, maybe you have a better experience with them. Maybe for some reason it work for you. I don't know, but just don't trust it just don't trust it all right so i believe that's all i have to say i can't think of anything else i think i spilled out everything i don't think i missed anything it's just that simple i went to the website i was doing the instructions they told me to do and the card thing wasn't working and that just told me that they were just trying to scan the card for information to try to charge you try to commit fraud or whatever so yeah just be careful out here, guys. Don't fall for everything. Don't fall for putting your card anywhere. Because if it's a fake card, more than likely, they're going to show their hand, just like they just did. They're going to show their hand. You're going to realize it was a scam. So, just be careful. Be careful where you put your card in for. Alright? It's a good thing this is a dead card. Because I knew better. I fucking knew better. It's a good thing I use a dead card rather than our actual bank card or anything else. So, yeah. That's proof. I'm glad I did that and um yeah <laughs> that's pretty much all i've got to say y'all i hope y'all having a good day i am today's going well i did my workout and everything i'm feeling great and i hope you guys are having a great day second hour month minute and decade thank you for watching peace out